Hello students. So in the last class we were um, looking into the concepts of surface integral and we also started with one or, one or two examples. Uh, since um, it is one of the important topics in integral calculus we will practice uh, maybe a couple of more examples um, on, uh, on surface integral and then we move to the uh, volume integral. Um, of course, uh, surface integral has uh, two aspects basically. So, one can look uh, to them from the integral calculus point of view and also from the vector calculus point of view. So, we will also work out a few surface integrals uh, when we uh, look into uh, vector calculus part, but uh, right now we are more analyzing it uh, from the integral calculus point of view. So, let us start with our uh, first example for today. So, our first example uh, states that so, example 1. So, find the surface area. So, find the surface area of that part of the of that part of the surface that part of the surface of the cylinder of the cylinder x square plus y square equals to a square which is cut out by the cylinder x square plus z square equals to a square. So, basically we have to find out uh, the surface area of the first cylinder of, of the first cylinder cut off by the second cylinder. So, the first cylinder has the base in x y plane and the second cylinder has the base in x z plane. So, of course, uh, one cylinder is like this, another one is like this. So, they will intersect at um, the, they will intersect somewhere and we have to find out the area um, which is basically how to say uh, intersected or cut off by these two uh, cylinders. So, this is our given cylinder. So, the given the, the given surface is basically uh, this one here. So, let us write the equation of the given surface is y equals to square root of a square minus x square. So, I take x square on the other side and uh, and uh, we can calculate. So, the, the surface uh, is basically the this um, the base lying in uh, x y plane. So, basically uh, we will um, we will uh, um, uh, do del y del x and uh, del y del z square. So, del y del x will be uh, square root of uh, 2 square root of a square minus x square this one is minus of 2x plus 0 square so this will be 1 uh, plus x square by a square minus x square so this will ultimately yield a square by a square minus x square so we will get uh, uh, this value equals to this thing now we see that the given surface, our given surface is symmetrical, is symmetrical about y about uh, the plane y equals to 0. So, of course, it is symmetrical because we have x square plus y equals y square equals to a square. So, it does not matter whatever value we put for x, uh, uh, we will get always uh, how to say um, the same cylinder, the same value for y and uh, that means that the, the cylinder is lying on the both half of the of the plane y equals to 0. So, it is symmetrical on the both sides of the plane y equals to 0 that means along x axis. Um, um, along x and z actually. So, along the plane basically y equals to 0 and um, uh, now that we have the uh, symmetrical part uh, the required surface area hence the required surface area 
So, we will take the projection on xz plane all right surface area is s equals to integral over the region r. So, r is the uh, surface and uh, then we have 1 plus square root of uh, del y del x whole square plus del z del x uh, sorry del y del z whole square dx dz. So, when we take the projection on xz plane. Now, we will have here a 2 because uh, the plane is symmetrical along the y. So, we have to just calculate the uh, surface area above the xz plane and just multiply it by 2 and that will give us the whole surface area because of this symmetricity condition, symmetric condition. So, we have 2 here and uh, if I take the square root, so over the region r I will have a and then in the denominator I will have a square minus x square uh, dx dz. Now, uh, the projection on the x z plane uh, will be uh, projection on the x z plane for, uh, for this for this uh, for this cylinder here is this one actually and uh, therefore, we can write 2 a integral over the region r um, dx dz uh, divided by a square minus x square and uh, our region r is we will we'll just write the equation region or surface whatever you would like to call. So, our surface r or region r is this one and uh, this can be written as integral from 0 to 2 a uh, 0 to a dx by a square minus x square and uh, range for z will be 0 to a square minus x square dz positive quadrant will be used or is used and then we put a 4 here basically. So, we put a 4 here because now the, the projection is taken in the xz plane and uh, xz plane what will happen is it is basically a circle and uh, the surface since circle is, is, um, um, is in a way symmetrical along x and uh, z axis then in that case we do not have to calculate the how to say uh, the surface area along the whole uh, whole circle we just take one of the uh, one of the quadrants and then multiply it by 4. So, that is what we are doing we instead of uh, calculating over the whole x square plus z square equals to a square we just calculate on the first quadrant and then we multiply the whole thing by 4 and that will give you the whole surface area. So, the, the, uh, this is also convenient because now we are only focused in the first quadrant and uh, in the first quadrant if if uh, if we draw the curve uh, if we draw if we draw the curve like this so this is our first quadrant and uh, that's the equation of this circle let's say so x plane and z plane so in the first quadrant our a is varying from 0 to a so this is our x limit and then z will vary from 0 to a square minus x square so z will vary from 0 to a square minus x square so, that is what we have written as the limit of z. So, now this will result in 8 a integral x running from 0 to a dx divided by a square minus x square and then here we will have z evaluated from at 0 and evaluated at a square minus x square. So, this will become 8 a x running from 0 to a uh, a square minus x square in the numerator and a square minus x square in the denominator times dx. So, both will cancel out and then it will become 8 a times uh, x dx uh, sorry self, uh, only dx and then this will be 8 a uh, x evaluated at uh, x equals to 0 and x equals to a. So, this will be basically 8 a square. So, here uh, we had to pay a very, very close attention that um, uh, the, the two cylinders I mean first of all the, the uh, we have to look at the equation of the cylinder uh, along which uh, plane it is symmetric 
and then we just have to calculate the uh, surface area on the upper half and multiply it by 2 that will give you the uh, surface area of the whole cylinder. Now it is being intersected or it, it is being cut off by some other cylinder. So uh, depending on what type of equation that cylinder has we can use the projection in that plane and uh, even in that plane here we have used the property that uh, it is basically um, a circle and then we do not have to uh, calculate along the whole uh, whole circle in a way or disk in a way uh, we just have to look into our first quadrant and then multiply it by 4 that is what we are doing here and this is this is your required answer. So, this is what we are doing here and that is your required answer. So, this is how we calculate the surface area uh, in this problem we will work out a similar problem like that before we move on to our next topic. So, let us start with our uh, next example. So, our next example is so our next example is show that the area of the surface of the paraboloid x square by a plus y square by b equals to 2z inside the cylinder x square by a square plus y square by b square equals to k is 2 by 3 pi a b 1 plus k whole to the power 3 by 2 minus 1. So, instead of having uh, two regular cylinders we have one of them as paraboloid and uh, it is being uh, uh, how do you say uh, um, in a way it is cut off or it is inside that cylinder given by this equation. So, here the equation of the cylinder uh, the, the base basically lies in x y plane and um, based on that first of all the given surface we can write the given surface is x square by a plus y square by b equals to 2 z. So, from here we obtain the given surface is this full stop we obtain del z del x. So, let us write the whole thing. So, del z del x del z del y. Now, from here if I calculate del z del x and del z del y then this will be 1 plus uh, 2 x by a and then 1 2 will get cancelled. So, basically x square by a square and then this will be y square by b square right yes. So, this is what we obtain here. Now, the required surface area. So, the required surface area since our uh, ellipse lies in x y plane we take the projection on x y plane. So, the required surface area s can be written as uh, so, R denotes our surface uh, this one and uh, we can write 1 plus del z del x plus del z del y dx dy alright. So, now let us substitute the values here. So, this will be over the region R uh, 1 plus x square by a square plus y square by b square dx dy right. So, now um, what we can do uh, in first of all instead of uh, um, how to say calculating this uh, integral in x and y variable what we will do we will do some change of uh, variables here and if we do the change of variables basically doing some method of substitution we can be able to reduce this whole thing into a rather simpler integral. So, how we can do that? we can substitute. So, we put x equals to a tan theta 
cos phi and y equals to b tan theta sin phi. Since we have a integral of uh, two variable, we have to assume the substitution in two variables as well. And uh, from here, I can calculate. Uh, um, I can calculate uh, our dx dy. Uh, so uh, the, the, those things can be calculated easily. Now, uh, what we can do, we we will basically see that one plus x square by a square plus y square by b square is equals to uh, one plus tan square theta will be common. Uh, we will have sin square phi plus cos square phi and this will reduce to square root of 1 plus tan square theta. So, this is basically sec square theta. So, that means sec theta right. So, this is our sec theta and uh, x square by a square and our surface and our surface x square by a square plus y square by b square equals to k will transform to uh, tan square theta would get common and then we will have sin square phi plus cos square phi. So, this is our given surface uh, due to this change of variable the surface will get also uh, changed in that variable and therefore, this will be tan square theta equals to k and from here we will obtain theta equals to tan inverse square root of k all right. So, we have got the value of theta and uh, now if we do the change of variable then we also have to calculate the Jacobian you remember uh, from the change of variable uh, in our um, um, how to say uh, change of variables part basically where if we wanted to change the variable we can change it but we also have to introduce a Jacobian. So, we can calculate the Jacobian and Jacobian is basically del x y del theta phi. So, this is basically del x del theta del x del phi del y del theta del y del phi. So, if we calculate this whole thing then it will be a v sec square theta tan theta alright. So, we have got our Jacobian, we have got our uh, uh, how to say uh, this uh, integrand as sec theta tan uh, as uh, sec theta and we have also got our theta. So, now let us go back to our required surface integral. So, this is this was our required surface integral and uh, we have basically integral over the region r 1 plus x square by a square plus y square by b square times dx dy. So, now we are doing the change of variable in x y plane. So, in x y plane our theta would vary from 0 to 2 pi and uh, this uh, the, the phi will vary from 0 to 2 pi. So, this is the limit for the phi and uh, our theta would vary from 0 to theta sec theta times a b sec square theta tan theta d theta. So, our limit for theta is basically uh, 0 to theta all right. So, now uh, here what we can do when we integrate this one. So, this will become uh, 2 a b. So, this will become pi basically 2 pi a b because this will be just phi and phi uh, at 0 and phi at 2 pi. So, that will give us 2 pi and then I am substituting this a b and I am putting this a b from here and now this is integral from 0 to theta is basically tan inverse k. Uh, we will have uh, sec cube theta tan theta d theta and uh, here we will do some uh, um, method of substitution. So, if I substitute uh, um, z equals to uh, say tan theta then it will be uh, sec square theta d theta um, so, or if we substitute uh, z equals to sec theta then it will be sec theta tan theta. So, by doing some method of substitution this integral would reduce to basically integral sec square theta evaluated at 0 to tan inverse k. So, from here to here it is basically method of substitution. So, we will keep uh, sec theta tan theta together and then we substitute sec, sec, uh, sec, uh, sec theta equals to z. So, that will give us sec theta tan theta and then this whole thing will reduce to uh, uh, just uh, uh, 
d of uh, sec square theta and then that will give us the required integral. Now, here I can substitute uh, uh, 2 pi a b of course, there will be 1 by 2 1 by 3 and uh, this will become uh, this will become basically um, and of course, this will be 3. So, this will become basically 2 by 3 pi a b uh, sec square theta uh, sec square theta uh, can be written as tan square theta and then uh, whole to the power 3 and then if I write sec theta as 1 plus tan square theta then I have to adjust a 3 by 2 here yes. So, this is tan inverse k and now I am substituting the value. So, 2 by 3 pi a b and if I substitute the value then it will be 1 plus uh, tan square theta. So, I am substituting theta equals to tan inverse k. So, this can be written as uh, 1 plus k uh, whole to the power 3 by 2 and uh, when theta is 0 then this whole thing is 0. So, minus 1. So, this is uh, this will be our required uh, required answer. So, here it will be tan theta tan square yes. So, 1 plus k whole to the power 3 by 2 minus 1. So, this is what we needed to prove. Uh, the calculation is a little bit tricky, um, but what I am doing here in the calculation is not uh, is not relevant to the complexity of the surface integral. So, this is basically um, for you to practice how you can do such kind of calculation. So, uh, when you see a complicated integral like this, um, all you have to do is um, think of some alternative way. Here in this case, we have used matter of uh, change of variables. So, when we change the variables, we basically get our uh, variables change and then the Jacobian. So, this is our Jacobian which I have substituted here that is the cal integrand and then we have d theta d phi where phi limit is 0 to 2 pi and theta limit is 0 to tan inverse k and uh, then we have done some simple calculation which you can do on your own time. So, um, in this uh, surface integral part, uh, we have seen a uh, certain uh, type of uh, um, how to say uh, integrals where um, uh, your one surface is being cut off by another surface and then the surface area which is common between these two surfaces needs to be calculated. So, it is like uh, um, in our plane curve region where um, uh, where we had one curve is being cut off by another curve and then we had to calculate the common uh, common area bounded by these two curves or enclosed by these two curves. So, it is more or less the same thing, but in a higher dimension. Um, so, kind of like a generalization of those uh, problems. Um, now, we can uh, work out one last example because uh, this is indeed an interesting topic. So, let us let us work out our very last example on the surface integral section. So, find the surface area of the paraboloid x square plus y square equals to a z which lies between the planes between the planes z equals to 0 and z equals to a. So, of course, the plane is lying um, uh, is um, lying in uh, z uh, so the plane is given by z equals to 0 and z equals to a. So, that is uh, th those are the two points where uh, those are the two planes basically in between we have our paraboloid and we have to calculate that surface area lying between these two planes and uh, to do that basically uh, we will have uh, the given surface. is so z equals to 0 z equals to a is basically a plane in x y uh, plane and uh, we will basically take the projection in x y plane actually. So, let us do that. So, the given surface is x square plus y square equals to a z then our 1 plus del z del x del z del y 
is equals to 1 plus so if I do del z del x then this will be 4 x square by a square and then this one will be uh, 4 a square by y square. So, if I take 1 by a square common then this will be a square plus 4 times x square plus y square alright. So, this here now projecting now projecting on the plane z equals to a gives. So, if I project uh, if I project this here on uh, the plane z equals to a then in that case then our region r will be x square plus y square equals to a square because if you if you project the paraboloid like this then on on x y plane it will be basically a circle right so that's that's the circle we we will obtain and uh, thus our surface area will be integral over the region r uh, we are taking the projection on x y plane. So, always look for the equation what type of equation is given whether it is uh, given in uh, x z variable or y z variable or x y variable or even if the equation is given in terms of planes then in what sense they are meaning and based on that we have to decide our projection. So, here z equals to 0 z equals to a are basically equation of x y plane and uh, therefore, we have to take the projection in x y plane alright. So, del z del y dx dy and uh, this will be integral uh, 1 by a integral over the region r uh, it will be a square plus 4 x square plus y square dx dy all right now this can be written as 1 by a uh, integral from 0 to 2 pi integral from 0 to a we will have a square plus 4 r square where x equals to r cos theta and y equals to r sin theta where r is between 0 to a and theta is between 0 to 2 pi because in this case instead of focusing on one quadrant we can how to say uh, rotate our theta from 0 to 2 pi and uh, that will give us the entire um, surface area over the entire circle um, um, and uh, this will be basically dr d theta here and uh, since we also have to incorporate a Jacobian then it will be r here. So, now this is our required changed uh, change of variable uh, how to say changed uh, integral. So, we have basically changed the variables using x equals to r cos theta y equals to r sin theta. So, this is integrand, this is integrand that is your Jacobian that is your uh, let us say dr d theta. Now, if we perform then basically we take d theta here. So, this will be 2 pi by a and uh, this will be integral from 0 to a r a square plus 4 r square dr and uh, to calculate this integral we just use uh, we substitute uh, uh, r square equals to uh, some z then this will be r 2 r d dr equals to some dz and then we will use some integral calculus formula. So, calculating this integral is not difficult you can do that by your own. So, ultimately you will obtain 2 pi by a 2 by 3 times 8 then this will be um, a square plus 4 r square whole to the power 3 by 2 integral from 0 to a. So, this will be uh, 4 and then uh, 2 there. So, this will be pi by 6 a and uh, here we will have 5. Uh, so, when a is 0, so this will be 5 a square whole to the power 3 by 2 minus uh, a square whole to the power 3 by 2. So, ultimately we will have uh, pi by 6 a a common. So, we will have 5 a square and uh, and uh, 5 a square minus a square and 5 to the power 3 by 2 and 1 a is getting cancelled. So, we will obtain pi by uh, 6 basically. So, we will have pi by 6 a square and this will be 5 to the power 3 by 2 
minus 1. So, the simplification is up to you. So, how you do the simplification. Now, this is this is one um, another interesting example where instead of uh, having it cut off by some other surface, we just had two planes in between we have our paraboloid and then we needed to calculate the surface area. So, these are the some problems which you can encounter in surface integral part and I hope I try to cover as many examples as I could. I will also include some examples in your uh, assignment sheet and uh, hopefully you will be able to work on them. So, I thank you for your attention for today and uh, I will see you in the next class.